The iPad has become my favorite tool for content creation. In fact, everything on this YouTube channel has been created through this iPad. From artwork to social media content, right through to video and sound production, you can do it all with some of these amazing apps. In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the best iPad apps for content creators that I've discovered so far, and a couple of hacks that can help them go even further for you. So come and take a tour of my content maker. Yeah, I'm, I'm channeling Peter McKinnon. Hi everyone, my name's Simon, this is Better Creating, and if you're new to the channel, it's all about simplifying creative life. So I make videos around productivity, creativity, and simple living, living a more intentional, stress-free life, uh, whatever it is you're up to. Now, this video is a quick one. I just wanna share with you what's on my iPad and how I'm using a couple of apps to create this YouTube channel. So whether you are someone creating uh, a podcast, a YouTube channel or thinking of starting one, or just trying to develop your brand and your social media content, um, there's a load of great hacks and tools in this little list that might go a long way to help you do that. Uh, I'm gonna break these down in categories, and they are creating and designing, capturing content, video production and animation, and finally, writing and organizing. Some of these apps are paid for, uh, some of them are free, but all of them, I think, represent amazing value and can give you really quality digital content. And you can do all of this. As always, uh, chapter markers in the timeline below if you wanna jump between sections, and let's dive into my list of my favorite iPad apps for creators. So the first app is Canva. Um, I use it uh, to essentially edit social media content, but particularly it's a brilliant uh, tool for making thumbnails for YouTube. Um, it's great for editing stuff on the go. Um, it's free to use um, on the basic level and I can get everything I need out of it. You just export pictures into your um, uh, photos app and then you can upload them to social media or to YouTube, whatever you need. Now the other great app that goes alongside this for me is Photoshop Mix. It's one of the Adobe um, apps. Um, and what's brilliant about Photoshop Mix is it allows you to quite um, quite beautifully combine different images. So it does all that kind of doctoring stuff. So I can either delete or paint in an image that's below or above the other. So what I would do is lay one Im image in, lay the other in, delete the sections that I want, and you can get some of these results. So just being able to kind of blend in one wall background on top of another around my head, which is quite good. Import that into Canva, put the titles on, export it as a thumbnail, boom, great thumbnails. The other app that is an alternative to Canva is SparkPost. Um, it's brilliant because particularly it has some really great templates that are really customizable. And um, I use this for the uh, banner artwork for the channel. Um, and the reason I did that is because it's got a lot more flexibility actually around kind of shapes and making things transparent and just the kind of detail you can get out of it I find to be really great. It gives you kind of existing templates and sizing for things like Instagram stories, posts, YouTube thumbnails, banner artwork, all of that, or you can just work from scratch. So you might have heard of Canva, you might have heard of Spark Post. One you may not have heard of is Mojo. It's a really cool app that allows you essentially to create animated uh, stories for Instagram. However, the great thing about this is you can actually use it for a lot of other applications. If you buy the, um, the paid for pro license, I think it's about $30 a year. But what's really cool about uh, Mojo is it allows you to create uh, an, anim uh, an animated title and then layer it into my editing software and I've got myself essentially a mobile After Effects. So animations, these kind of nice pop-ups that you see coming up here, I can create them in Mojo, layer them into LumaFusion, which is what I use to edit my videos, and hey presto, you've got a kind of uh, After Effects mobile device thing. More on LumaFusion and editing videos in a little bit. Now when it comes to posting social media, what I really wanna be doing is not be constantly on the social media apps. The best thing I've discovered so far to manage all of the social media posts is something called Hootsuite. You may have heard of it, there are a lot of these systems out there, but essentially it's a place where you can schedule and plan your social media output, create my Instagram and Twitter posts uh, at a specific time, even just on here, do it all in one point and then they'll be scheduled to go out. So check out something like Hootsuite if you wanna be able to kind of take the pressure off having to constantly be on your phone to post and actually have a bit more of a strategy with getting your social media content out there. So I'm currently filming on a mirrorless camera. I upgraded about halfway through this year. However, for a long time, I was creating uh, the videos directly on an iPhone and an iPad. So I wanna to talk to you about video and audio capture. So until I switched to a mirrorless camera, 
I was using the wonderful filming app, Filmic Pro. I've made a video on this in uh, previously on the channel, the app that allows you to turn your mobile or indeed your iPad into a fully adjustable mirrorless DSLR camera essentially. So full control over exposure, white balance, focus, um, ISO, all of that great stuff. Check out those videos because it is absolutely brilliant. So that one's a paid for app, um, uh, but what's brilliant is it goes so much further than anything else and particularly than like your native camera app. I really recommend it. If you don't want to go as far as something like Filmic Pro, um, Focus or the Moment Photography app are particularly good. So check those apps out as well. They're a little bit cheaper and give you a lot more control. If you're interested in producing voiceover or uh, sound content, I've got to say, my go-to has got to always be GarageBand. GarageBand is a classic native app, but it really is hard to beat, particularly as you can now have multiple uh, mic inputs to it. Um, you can get external audio interface and be able to get really high quality professional sound going into it. And honestly, it's still one of the best recorders um, uh, I've found for developing things like podcasts. That's what I'm currently developing a podcast with. Look out for that. Another really good option if you're um, not a fan of GarageBand is Ferrite. Now, Ferrite is um, recognized actually in the kind of sound world as, as apps go like this, um, it does a really good job uh, with uh, sound uh, capture. So check it out, good quality stuff. If you're someone who forgets what they're meant to be saying on video all the time, you could try um, an auto cue or a teleprompter. Now, uh, the best one by far that I found that is free and available on apps is the Parrot teleprompter. I uh, previously, early on when I was making this channel, made a whole video, I haven't put it out, but I made a video on how to create your own teleprompter. You get this free app and you can build your own. Um, it looks a little bit like this. It's rather effective. If anyone wants to see that, it's basically edited. It's just old and I'm not sure whether to put it out, but uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see that teleprompter video. Uh, yeah, homemade teleprompter for $30 basically. Good stuff. Video production and animation. Now, when it comes to editing video on an iPad, there isn't really anything better than LumaFusion. Uh, it's the only contender for me. It's a remarkable application. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. They're not paying for this video. <laughs> but it's hugely powerful and it resembles the uh, functionality of something like Final Cut Pro, a kind of touch version. In fact, there's actually an option to be able to export projects directly into Final Cut Pro and then continue working on them in there. Um, I would say though, uh, it's what I've edited all my videos on and I love it because um, you're able to do loads of great stuff around advanced transitions, movement and animation, keying, color grading, stuff with green screens, and chroma key, good ability to put voiceovers directly into it at a really good quality, so all my voiceovers go directly into LumaFusion, and you can even do things like bring importing LUTs, so kind of a filters to make the color grade of it, um, a video at really good quality. It's the most paid for app that I've um, spent money on, it's about $35, it's a fair amount of money, easily the best money I've spent on this iPad, and as I say, this iPad is just it's an iPad Pro uh, 2019. It is just eating through 4K high res um, uh, log footage, just like that. So, really, really impressive. Now, if you want to do a little bit more advanced color grading, I've made a video on how to do that in LumaFusion and using a different app called Affinity Photo. Now, if you're a photo editor, um, in fact, one of the reasons just to to have an iPad is something like the app Affinity Photo. It's uh, an absolutely kind of top of the range image editor. It's brilliant, it's around about $10, it's an absolute steal. So check out Affinity Photo for that. But the other cool thing about using it with LumaFusion is that I can import um, a still from the video, uh, color grade it with all the extra functionality in uh, Affinity Photo and then export that as a LUT, a lookup table to put back into LumaFusion and it's a way of uh, doing really kind of high quality color grading. Check out my other video on color grading on an iPad. And I've also got Lightroom in there. If you just want to edit some photos and make them look beautiful, it's quite hard to beat um, uh, Lightroom and the Lightroom app. As I was talking about Mojo earlier, your kind of mobile device After Effects, have a go looking at Mojo. Again, you have to pay for the pro version to be able to get the kind of landscape um, and more flexible blank canvases. But if you get those, you can then create these amazing motion graphics and place those into LumaFusion. So you've got yourself a whole editing suite. Procreate. Uh, you must have heard of this. It's again, one of those apps that people often buy an iPad for. If you're a digital animator or a kind of a, a graphic artist, Procreate can go way further than I'm capable with with one of these. I'm not an expert at that, but what I use it for is to do animated handwritten or hand-drawn things in videos. So you can lay down a green screen into it, um, 
draw on it by doing that whilst doing a screen record, import that into your editing software, key out the green and you've got yourself an animation like this. It's happening, is it happening? I think it's happening, is it happening? So there are loads of great apps out there for writing and organizing your thoughts and content, whatever it is you're creating. I'm a really big fan of Drafts. It's a beautifully made and simple uh, interface, which is a really lovely way to engage with an iPad and writing ideas down, particularly in the way that um, you can get a widget to pop up at the side, so I recommend that. And for those of you that know me and know this channel, I'm a big Notion head. If you've not heard of Notion, check out all my other videos on it. It's an all-in-one workspace, database-led, and I use it to organize all of my thoughts, ideas, and workload, tasks, projects, and everything. Now, as you can see in my content maker, there are a couple of other apps that are in here. The obvious thing that I use to make stuff on YouTube is uh, the YouTube Studio uh, app, but TubeBuddy, well worth checking out if you are looking to further your reach on video. Um, it's an amazing thing. It allows you to essentially search keywords, do loads of clever things around kind of optimizing uh, your videos um, for search, which is pretty cool. So no doubt I have missed one of your favorite apps off this list. Let me know in the comments below what other great creator apps are there out there that you recommend and why. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Um, and I would also say I was thinking a little bit about making a few more videos around uh, apps that I use for productivity beyond Notion. Uh, there's more videos on that productivity and creativity going on over here. But either way, I hope to see you in the next video. Get outside, get off your phone. See you later. Bye. <laughs>